Hi Virgos, it's Abby. Welcome to your reading with me today. Um, I'm going to be doing a reading. This is a series that is about your present energy and the future energy that you might be going into, okay? Um, you know, if this reading resonates with you, feel free to like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. Always check in with your own intuition um, as you're going through any reading on the internet, okay? Um, so I'm going to pull, this is the energy oracle. I'm going to pull one card for each period of time, so your present energy and your future energy where you might be going, and I'm going to use the tarot. I have the tarot of mystical moments, and I'll be clarifying with the uncommon tarot to kind of get a, an idea of what that might look like for you, okay? And at the end, I'm going to use some oracles, um, so let's dive right in. Ooh, Virgo. Take a victory lap. What is up with you? My goodness. Okay, so you could be getting some kind of recognition. You could be in a period of time where maybe you are achieving some kind of personal victory in your life. Wow, and like a lot of recognition. The theme of victory is very strong with you right now. There's some affirmations and some messages in the guidebook for this one that I'll get into once, I'm, once I've kind of laid out the, the story here. But this really feels like there's a winning um, energy here for you, Virgo. Let's take a look for Virgo. You clarify this energy of victory. What's the story behind this? Okay, Eight of Pentacles. Could be in work. We have the moon, Pisces energy, four of cups, two of swords, ace of cups. Okay. So eight of pentacles, this is a lot to do with the work that you put into things. You have the lovers at the bottom of the deck. It could be um, a victory in the area of love and romance for you, Virgo. Maybe a Gemini person that's important or one of your gem, if you have a Gemini placement somewhere in your birth chart, okay? Um, but this feels like a, cho I'm wanting to say a choice that actually pays off really well. Um, you might be in the process of trying to figure that out. You may be just entering into this journey, so try to keep an open mind. But like, this feels very, um, this feels good in, a, in an interesting way. Eight of Pentacles is a card of work, of really focusing on the details and of you becoming like a master of something, right? Um, in a way that your other people recognize your work, other people kind of see the work you've put into things. And it can be my card of like reputation also in the workspace. So for some of you, um, you may have done something like at your work, um, or it could even be, I'm wanting to say crafting that you do of some kind, something that you put a lot of time and energy into to learn, um, that it feels like it's giving you, um, like some feedback that's actually quite nice. Uh, you do have the moon following it, which can sometimes be confusion and fears. Sometimes we have things from the subconscious that are kind of coming up. It might be a fear. Um, this feels a little like something might be maybe was revealed that made you start to feel into this four of cups energy and then maybe this bit of indecision with the two of swords. I feel pretty positive about this though because of the ace of cups, but let's clarify and see what other details we can draw out. Four of cups, so I mean, it's kind of a fed up energy. Um, it's hard for us to see opportunity sometimes because we're just emotionally distracted, right? And then two of swords, I feel like you're trying to take in as much energy, uh, information as you can to make a decision, but maybe there's just so much kind of going on in there. Um, you may have made a discovery of something. You might have a fear that's an old fear that is surfacing from your the deep depths of your unconscious with this moon energy here. Um, but you're ending in an ace, okay? You're in a period of time where you're being offered a new opportunity and a new opportunity in the area of emotions. Um, it doesn't have to be romantic love if you don't want romantic love. This can very much be you making the best, most ethical, excellent choice for yourself of how you're going to win. And it, it's stuff that makes you really happy. Um, that gives you a whole new emotional start. Let's see. Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, gorgeous. Um, it's really independent energy. For some people, this could be that maybe you have been focusing a lot on your work life, focusing a lot on being a winner and getting a lot of victory in your work life. 
or even on the things that are pentacles don't have to be work and money. They can just be things of value, right? So that's when we talk about health, um, your physical, mental, and emotional health, okay? Uh, the things that you put your time and effort and energy into in your actual living, touching, real sense kind of world, okay? The 3D. So this feels like you could have some maybe taurus -y energy. Virgo, this feels like you, you've put a lot of work into something. And I think it's almost like closing the cycle for you. This 28 here re reduces to a 10, right? And 10s are all about the ends of cycles. So I think there's something that you went through here that it's like you're coming to a place where you're going to realize that you actually, the completion of this cycle is a real win for you. You did what you had to do to close out an area of your life. We have with the moon, the star, which is perfect progression. That is exactly perfect. So this is like your, right? We have the star and then the moon. I love this. So this feels like you could have an Aquarius energy that's in here. Um, for some of you, the star is a card of getting a lot of attention. You could even have something that was like a fear or subconscious element that kind of came out that gave you a lot of guidance. Um, and for some of you, you might have had something that you were scared to heal or you were scared to look at. But you were given the, the hope and the direction to do it. Um, even if it didn't necessarily feel like it was worth it at the time, for some of you, that was what you decided to do. Yeah, Eight of Cups, Four of Cups, Eight of Cups. So um, whatever was offered to you, it feels like there might have been something that eh, could have been offered your way. And you probably either, I think you were contemplating it quite a bit. There is a, a, dis, a real energy here that you had to really decide to walk away from some things. You need to separate yourself emotionally from things that weren't working for you anymore. Maybe you weren't sure if you could take advantage of an opportunity properly unless you left a lot of other stuff behind. Because there was some stuff here that you were doing that may have been fine for a, a while. It worked for you. Maybe it didn't give you the worst results, the best results, something kind of in between. But it's like it, things don't seem as good, right? There's this grass is greener on the other side kind of sense. Um that you might be feeling like you're kind of working your way through. A little frustrating. Maybe causing you to feel like you have a lot of sort of fluttering energy in your mind space. Not really sure uh, how to shut your thoughts down or to think incredibly clearly. Um, let's see what this two of swords. King of coins. Okay, Virgo. So this could be yo. Could also be a Taurus. Um, it's earth sign energy regardless. So it can be any sign. So this feels like you might have been trying to make a decision on a person in particular. Um, for some of you, this is that you might have had to make a decision on um, someone who maybe had money, who had a lot of stuff set up for them. Could be a romantic interest, a friend, an investor, a boss, a mentor. This can also be you, you coming into a role of some kind where you have a lot of authority Ace of Cups and the Ten of Wands. Damn with the Tens. There's an Ace and a Ten right together. Okay. So an opportunity that is born out of something else ending. And something ending that you know you put a lot of effort into. It took all your energy and focus and attention. It was, for some of you, this was you saying yes too much. You probably had a lot of responsibilities and duties. By the end of this thing, you are like almost burnt out, to be completely honest. What's at the bottom here? Queen of Coins. This could have to do with the relationship, couples, um, parents even. Sometimes I see the pentacles sometimes as parents. Um, that kind of energy. But it feels like it all, like whatever this is that you are completing here and wanting to really win at, have victory with, it's creating an opportunity for you to have a lot of sort of like wealth and abundance, um, to have things very, very comfortable for yourself. Queen of Coins is an energy that's very like a, a happy, really abundant, um, comfortable home. And someone who's like not at all afraid to spend time on themselves and take care of themselves. Um, they're not about to sacrifice all of their energy for everybody else. So it feels like there's 
uh, an era like that that's closing here for you and it does involve choices all right so that yeah take it if it resonates so where does this go the door to value i love it i love it virgo look at that money money just flying all over the place okay so this feels like this really kind of abundance mindset might be taking uh, root here for you with the sort of wins or victories that you might be having. It feels like um, you could have a windfall of some kind or you could come up with an idea, uh, maybe something that you really care about that comes from your emotions or from your heart uh, with the Ace of Cups there um, and really helps you to create something that might bring a bunch of um, opportunities your way. This is gorgeous. I love it. So let's take a look. What else? What else can you tell me about where Virgo is going with this? Where is Virgo going with this? With this drawer of value. Tell me more. Tell me more. I'm a little jealous. I love, love seeing money energy. The star again. See? Very strong Aquarius. Tem or no, that's not the star. That's the star cups looks very similar queen of pentacles energy again could very well be a relationship in the sun so you do have some major arcana energy here right you have this little period of time where it feels like you were learning a lesson with the moon and the star maybe overcoming or healing some fears or some realizations some things that came to you kind of out of nowhere or things something being revealed to you okay this energy you have three major arcanas here yeah, and then this huge kind of opportunity energy. So this, it feels like you're moving into a stage of life that is pretty pivotal for you. It has a lot of big lessons and it has a lot of um, huge shifts, right? Making big moves that, that affect a lot of things in your life. It isn't just like the day-to-day -day kind of stuff. Um, so two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This is you remaining graceful <laughs> as you are changing. You can have some ups and downs, sure. I mean, like, what would life be without ups and downs? They happen to all of us. Um, but it feels like it's telling you this is this person's balancing everything on an on an infinity symbol, like they're spinning plates, and it's like you're achieving like a height of some kind. But when you get up there, you have to kind of maybe you have a fear of heights. Maybe you have a fear of putting yourself out there. Maybe you have a fear of seeing yourself as a winner. Whatever it is, right, that was kind of coming to the surface here. Um, I feel like you were fed up with things, man. I think, Virgo, you were upset with something and you decided to let it go. Good for you. Or you're on the verge of it. So with this door to value, we have the Seven of Cups. It's having a whole lot of stuff that we can do. Um, it can be wishful thinking and manifesting, right? Where we're really kind of dreaming of all of the possibilities. It's beautiful energy. Um, and if you can see here, this one is even more directed because she has taken this wand and is picking a very particular star. Every uh, There's lots of stars in that sky, but there's one in particular that that person knows that that's the one. Okay, so I feel like there, there's a period of time here where you might be presented with some opportunities or you know that there are some paths that you can take and there's one in particular that really speaks to you. Uh, then through temperance and the fool, probably having to be really patient with yourself could be Sagittarius person or an Aries person, maybe a Leo, okay? Um, this is... <laughs> This is like healing things. This is instead of going all the way to the dark side or all the way to the light side, this is like finding some kind of middle ground and accepting that kind of yin-yang energy, right? Without pushing too hard in one direction or the other. That, it looks like, leads you to taking some kind of leap or starting something brand new, being open to the possibilities, traveling light, you're being patient with yourself, and it's bringing you into Queen of Pentacles energy, which could for some of you bring you into a union with another person, right? Because of the King and the Queen. For some of you, this is bringing you into a place of um, abundance and focusing on your home, your health, your happiness. And the sun. This is gorgeous, Virgo. This is gorgeous. This feels like you're rediscovering yourself in some way. 
And that door to value, I mean, value isn't just monetary, right? It's the things that we value ourselves or our... Yeah, it's a transformation. Do you see this? Death and the Queen of Coins. Like, you're, you're changing. You're turning into the Queen of Coins. Regardless of your sex or gender, this feels like gorgeous energy, Virgo. Let's take a look. Chariot. Okay. I'm like, okay. So much major arcana energy. Okay. Beautiful. What's under here? Six of Swords. So you could be moving on in some kind of way. Things are choppy. And you're discovering a way to move on from it to escape. Maybe even escape a, st a sticky situation of some sort. Sometimes that's the Six of Swords for me. With the Seven of Pentacles, or the Seven of Cups here, sorry, you have the Chariot. So there's Cancer energy here. That's Cardinal energy. That's very, very directed. Your will is super strong. These two cards might indicate that you might be moving house, moving country. Um, and it might be to follow an opportunity that's going to make you a lot of money. Um, really, really beautiful energy. We have the, it could involve cars somehow. I don't know if that means that you're driving somewhere or if it means that there's some way your car is involved or that cars are involved in that. And it's just a side note. T toss it if it doesn't mean anything. Um, okay. And then you're moving into this huge, beautiful energy, this temperance energy. I love it with now with the devil. So I like it because these are the two, these two are kind of opposites of each other, right? So the devil could be Capricorn, maybe. Okay. could be Capricorn person involved. But a lot of the time, the devil is when we're in excess, we're out of balance. We're convinced things have to be a certain way. We are maybe repeating patterns. Maybe we have addictions or things that we are, um, we're kind of struggling with stuff that keeps us in the mindset of this is the way it is and this is the way it will always be and it's a seductive energy right temperance energy is is much more balanced than that so that you could have some temptations or some things that might rear their head um it could be that you have some personal things that kind of come to light as you're making this move and choosing to go in a very certain direction you might be faced with some of your shadow okay um, and understand that shadow can be all kinds of things. It doesn't, I know when we say addiction, people tend to think it's like, you know, sex, drugs, alcohol, <laughs> um, food, <laughs> those kinds of things are the stuff that people go towards, the things that we consume. But it can also be things like um, negative self-talk. Like, you know, we can get addicted to drama. We can get addicted to, um, you know, relationships that we know won't last. We can get addicted to uh, tarot, you know, um, you can get addicted to not making decisions for yourself because you're waiting for someone or something else to constantly tell you what to do. We can get codependent, right? Um, so it could very well be that you're, you're making some changes here to like really kind of deal with that. I feel like it's going to be glaringly obvious to you and that that's going to help you to start to travel light with this full energy with the seven of coins. I think that you are, you're taking a new road right? Because you're able to look back and see what was the outcome of all the energy you put into it. Whatever you built before or had before, it's taking stock of your life and really going like, okay, was this, did this get me what I wanted? And it's like, you're able to look at it with a fresh way that is kind of with full energy. It's kind of non-judgmental. It's lighthearted could be an Aries person who maybe helps you do this, okay? And you have a few signs that are showing up here, so they might show up in your life or they might not. But it's that energy of being able to be like, was the way I was doing it before, did it give me the harvest that I feel I deserve, that I know I should be able to get out of it? Or did I waste some energy somewhere, right? Is it a reversed energy where we're putting all of our energy and time into stuff and it's not, you know, nothing's growing, nothing's blooming, right? We're not just... It's, it's not really a good effort, right? I feel like you're able to really kind of address that. And then with the Queen of Pentacles, we have the Six of Pentacles. Very earthy Virgo. Um, for some of you, this is you really kind of standing in your power. I feel you could have another earth sign person possibly who's important, but you're not allowing things to drain you. You are nurturing the things that nurture you back, <laughs> okay? 
um, whether that's in your relationships or your jobs or whatever it is, um, you're not willing to have things be unbalanced anymore. You're not willing to let things be lopsided and weird where you're giving all your energy away in the hopes that you, someone will give you crumbs back. Those are, if those, that was the previous days, those days are done. Okay. And this moves you towards, I mean, when we say door to op or, or door to value, right? And then you're ending this reading on the sun and the 10 of coins. The Ten of Pentacles, that's like a card of windfalls, inheritances, um, family, legacy, having enough to like really building something that's going to stand the test of time. There could be a Leo person involved. We have like a lot of Leo imagery here, um, even though it's like earthy energy, right? With the Ten of Pentacles, they have these lions and all these little lion cubs here. Virgo, this feels like you have the potential to create something that is going to be making you very, very happy and possibly even uh, lining your pockets pretty nicely too. That's nice. Okay, I'm going to give you uh, a couple cards, oracles. Thank you so much if you've um, made it this far. Let me know down below if this reading resonates for you, if you like the style. I always love to hear back from people. So I'm going to ask for a truth and a lie for each of these areas of your life, okay? So for a truth and a lie for your present energy and for your future energy. So let's take a look at this here. Okay, see? Self-worth. Wow. This is metabolic. Okay. The star energy can be a healing card sometimes to do with um sometimes it's health healing like very directed that way so this trigger statement this um lie in your self-worth here virgo says i am disgusting now to be honest virgo you're no like your sign is known for being kind of self-critical right and actually sometimes for having stomach issues so that might be something that's um you're seeing something about here and then the true statement says i am a miracle the guidance here says, please be gentle and love yourself. Provide your body, mind with what it truly needs to carry on with your, no, your new journey, to carry you on your journey. I like how it said body, mind, um, because I feel like a lot of the time we tend to think that mental health is separate from our physical health, but it's not, right? Your brain is inside of your body. <laughs> like your brain cannot exist without your body, right? Um, so, I mean, a body is an incredibly amazing thing. It's incredibly complex. It's crazy that it works. If we think about, you know, even like conception and how, how many possibilities there are for, you know, everything to align in such a way that, you know, the pieces came together to make each of us is kind of nuts, right? So the statement saying to see yourself is like a miracle. Beautiful energy here. Stars, miracle energy too. And... A truth and a lie for the future. We have marjoram. So that might be something that you like. You might want to look up the properties of it in either folk magic, maybe, or um, healing therapies. Uh, what it represents to you. There could be a message for you there. This is comfort. Uh, the, the lie or the trigger statement says people cannot be trusted. Okay. You do have devil energy here. Um, so that could be something that you sense, you know. And the true statement says, I trust my heart. Your big, beautiful heart is ready to open. Trust that you will be able to discern who is best to walk with you. Do you see this? She's not <laughs> this queen of pentacles energy. They will walk with whoever they feel is the best for them. And with the six of pentacles, six of coins energy, I feel like you're going to be able to be loving and also say no to the wrong people. You're going to, it doesn't mean you'll be lonely. You'll attract the right ones. You know, if you're, you're on this high vibe and energy here, I like this. So let's take a look at the affirmation. So if you are in this, if this current energy is speaking to you here, Virgo, the affirmation that is here for you, you might want to work with. It says, I'm achieving great things within myself and in the world. I see myself as a success in many wonderful ways, even right now. Beautiful. We're talking about your self-worth being a huge, 
um, like element, such confirmation, right? About what this period of time is like for you. And then we have door to value. Let's see here, 31. So it's new beginnings in finance or career. I thought I said something about that. Are you moving maybe for a new job or something like that. Let's see here. You hear that? I don't know if you can hear it. She's really going for it upstairs. <laughs> okay, the affirmation here says, my life is opening to endless possibilities of prosperity. A river of abundance flows three freely through my door, bringing me unlimited wealth. What? Door to value. That's crazy. This is full of good stuff for you here, Virgo. I love it. This is a great reading. I loved doing it. Thank you for sitting here with me today. Thanks for spending some time with me, even if you're just listening on headphones. Hey, hi, how are you? Thanks for being here. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Feel free to leave me feedback down below if you liked this or you didn't. Whatever, I don't care. It's all good. Like, you know, can't please them all. I'd love to have you subscribe and hang out with me. If you happen to have a Pisces placement, I have a Pisces only channel that I post to almost on the daily. It's down below. Um, so feel free to check that out if that applies to you. Lots of love, you guys, okay? I'll see you on the next one. Bye now.